we have a student data set. And from this table of data, we need to create a report with a unique list of student names and the last time that they accessed the school website. Now, last video, we saw how to do it with formulas. Next video, we'll see how to do it with Power Query. But the fastest and easiest way to accomplish this task is with a pivot table. On the sheet Student Data, here's my table of data. Last video, we already converted it to an Excel table. That way, if we add new records, everything will update. Now I click in a single cell. I go up to Insert in the Table Group. I click on the Pivot Table button. Or I can use the keyboard, Alt, N, V. And in my version, I have to hit T. In 2016 and some versions, you don't have to hit that T. Now, because that's a proper data set, the first step got the table. That's the official name of this table. I want the default on a new worksheet, so I can click OK or simply hit Enter. I see a new sheet inserted. I'm going to name this sheet. And here's how amazingly easy it is with the pivot table. These are the names of the columns or the fields. I'm going to take sortable name, and when I drag it down to the row area, instantly I get a sorted, unique list of each student name. Last access. Well, that has dates and times, which are numbers. So watch what happens when I drag this down to values. Now, it defaulted to count, but that's not what I want. I need the maximum date time, which would be the last time that the student accessed the website. So somewhere in the values area, I right click, go down to summarize value by, and I'm going to change the aggregate calculation to max. And just like that, I get the date time. But of course, since dates are integers and times are decimals, I need to add some number formatting. Now, last video when we did it in the worksheet with formula, we had to highlight all the cells. But this is a pivot table. So you select one cell in the value area, right click, and you want the number formatting tab. Not format cells, number formatting. You can tell this is different than the Format Cells dialog box, because that dialog box has lots of tabs. When you're inside a pivot table, we only see number. And that's perfect, because this will add the formatting that we want to the field. So I select Custom. In Type, I'm going to select Inside, select in General. Watch the sample. We want Month first, so I type M. 9 represents September, forward slash. D is Day, forward slash, Y, Y, Y. And then a space. H is hour, so I type two H's, colon. M is minute, so I type two minutes. That's military time. If you want AM or PM, you put the code AM slash PM. And there's our sample. That's the custom number formatting that will format the entire field. Click OK. And we are done. Now if we come back to Student Data, click in the data set, Control down arrow, I have some records that I want to add to the table. Because this is an Excel table, if I paste any new data directly below the data set, the table will expand. And since the pivot table is pointing to the table object, the pivot table will be able to see the new records. Now I'm going to Control X, and then right there, Control V. Now when we go over to our report, Pivot tables don't instantly update when the data changes. Last video, we saw if we use formulas, they instantly update. With a pivot table, you have to right click, refresh. And just like that, there is the latest time for that first student. Not 9-5, but 9-7-2020 at 1.39 PM. All right, next video will be our last video on this topic. We'll see how to import the data exported from the college website system. And we'll use Power Query to import it and create our report. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out the other two methods, here's the video links.